Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm a second year medical student now. I apologize for not having posted up a video and kept it there for a long time. I posted one up about fish oil, one about olive oil, and one about how to take care of yourself if you have a cold. And I took them all down because I wanted to add some things to them, and, but hopefully I'll put them back up pretty soon. The other thing I wanted to apologize was to not have responded to your messages yet. I'm really, really sorry about that. I kind of got overwhelmed a little bit with how fast-paced second-year medical school has been compared to first-year medical school. But I'm definitely trying to answer each email, each, each message. And so thank you for your patience on this. In terms of for today, I wanted to talk about second-year medical school, the curriculum, the daily life, kind of like an outline. Because you've asked me before in the past to kind of go over this more in depth. and. Um, so here is just a brief, brief outline. Um, I'm going to try to give more details later on, sort of individual classes and post up videos about that. But basically, sleep. Um, one of the big things, one of the big questions I know that some of you have had is how much sleep do you get when you're in medical school? And so I think for first year medical school students, probably around six to eight hours, six to eight and a half hours. And still, right now, in, in my second year, it's still about that time. I don't think you start sleeping very, uh, very few hours until third year of medical school, which at that point I know in some programs, in some, for example, if you're doing surgery and you're, you're during the inpatient uh, weeks where you actually have to be in the hospital, so in some places you're on call every third day or every fourth day or every second day. So what that means is every day you're on call, you're in the hospital for 24 hours. And during those times, you probably get one hour, two hours maximum of sleep. Usually maybe less than, less than two hours, less than an hour, or no sleep at all um, during that day. But right now, for me, second year, even though it seems kind of busy, it's not nearly as busy as third year. And so... Um, I'm still getting about seven to eight hours of sleep on average. Um, although my schedule is sometimes, it's sometimes, um, especially Sunday night, that the hours of sleep are much less. But, um, and then in terms of how much time do you spend studying, I know that's a, a, another big question, which is basically, I would say if you're pretty organized, you're, prob you're probably studying about two and a half to five hours a day and during the weekdays and then during the weekends probably four hours each day or eight hours one day and just take the entire day off one the other day um, but it depends on how organized you are I know some of my classmates they really are studying four, four to five hours a day every day and then some of us others um, we might do you know two hours, but then sometimes try to catch up later and have crazy weekends where you're just like trying to um, keep it balanced. But one of the things I have been trying to do is to try to be more organized um, because that's apparently that's the way to go, um, especially during third year where you really don't have much time to study, but you're required to continue learning and study and so you just, you have to be really organized. So, okay, in terms of classes, the first two weeks were pharmacology. The first, so during the mornings and in some of the afternoons, you had pharmacology. And then on Tuesday afternoons, we had human behavior, human development, which is talking about um, old age, being a toddler, being ad adolescent, the issues you're dealing with. And so kind of exploring what it means to be a human being um, and then on certain of those afternoons, we also had nutrition, which about six hours of nutrition, but then 30 hours of nutrition will be spread out throughout the entire year. Um, and then Friday afternoons were off, but basically Monday to Thursday afternoons, they're all really busy, um, especially now we're, we're in the neuroscience block. And so for neuroscience, during the mornings, you have four hours of neuroscience, and then in the afternoons, you're pretty much busy until 5 or 5.30, except for Friday afternoons. Um, so in terms of the afternoon classes, 
on Monday and Wednesday there's this new class called Patient Doctor 2, which I don't know if you've seen my the first year medical school clip that I did I posted up earlier, but basically in, in first year medical school you had patient doctor one, which is about um, the patient and doctor communication, learning about communication skills, how to ask questions and interview patients. And patient doctor two is building upon that so that now in addition to learning how to interview, you're concentrating on the physical exam. Sort of when you go to your doctor and he takes he or she takes an ophthalmoscope and looks into your eye or looks into your throat, you know, when you say ah, that kind of thing. That's what we're learning right now. And because we're learning neuroscience right now, we're focusing on the neurological exam. So for example, you know, you, you might have a card and ask the patient what um, you know, what are the what's the smallest line you can read on this card? Or I might hold up my fingers and ask you how many fingers am I holding up or which finger is moving, that kind of thing, to test um, visual fields and all, all kinds of different um, tests, which each test individually is pretty simple, but they tell you a lot, um, which is one of the things that's kind of interesting about the neurological exam because it's something that it's not very high tech, but it can tell you a lot. So for example, um, if I hold up if, if I ask you to follow my finger, you're testing to see whether or not three different nerves in uh, your brain, cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6, whether or not those are intact and functioning. And if there's a problem with your eyes following my finger, you can kind of isolate where exactly the problem is, um, where it can help you isolate where the problem is. Um, so that's, that's one of the neat things about the neurological exam. And in addition, so in terms of patient doctor two, what they do is the first two hours um, on Wednesday afternoon, you're at a hospital with a fourth year medical student. And then the second two hours, you're still with the fourth year medical student, but you're also with an attending physician. Um, basically a senior physician who's been there and kind of knows how to treat patients, how to teach students, how to treat patients, and the entire time it's only three people, like two other classmates and I are paired with a fourth year medical student and an attending physician. So that's kind of neat because especially I really like my tutor and my, my attending because they're just really enthusiastic and oftentimes we go till six, um, so past what I think the normal time you're supposed to stop at five, but basically really enthusiastic and so you're learning a lot, um, getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one individual attention on how to do a better physical exam. And then on Mondays for patient doctor two, you're instead of at the hospital, you're kind of back at the medical school where you have a couple lectures, but then you have a couple practice, couple hours of practice sessions with, again, very small groups, five or six students and uh, a couple attending physicians. So the past two weeks we've had neurologists and ophthalmologists come and teach us different parts of the neurological, neurological exam. Lastly, right now on Tuesday afternoons we have psychopathology, which is a psychiatry course, introduction to psychiatry, and every other week we're in the hospital and interviewing patients who, um, along, along with the psychiatrist, and alternating between those weeks we're back in the medical school getting lectures and watching a patient interview done sort of live but in front of it but in front of the entire class and then finally on Thursdays Thursday afternoons we have health policy classes talking about healthcare economics insurance all that kind of stuff to balance out the basic science the physical, physical exam and so that's it um, it's been busier, but like I said, not quite as busy as third year, so I don't really have anything to complain about. Um, and But it's been pretty fun, and really, um, it's challenged me to kind of be more organized with my schedule as well. So I think that's all I have to say, and in case you were interested. But anyways, thank you for listening, and I will definitely 
try to get back to all the messages that you've sent me. Thanks a lot.